Oh, I bumped Mike. Woo. And so we are on a boat, of course, just sailing down the river. So for some odd reason, the uh, the, the game believes that if it just kind of does its exposition dump in a level, which is just uh, it's a turret segment, like really, you're just on the boat. Also, this guy sounds much like the other guy, you know, a lot like the other guy. So, when she, whoa. Okay, it's just slipping along. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Oh, we gotta watch out. So yeah, you can just one hit these guys, but you don't wanna take too many hits. Sometimes you can just kinda row past, or row past them. You're not the one rowing. And it's a, it's a cool aesthetic, but it's just like, Oh, it's weird, like really. Have you seen anything like this in like any other game? I'll give these guys credit, it's just like, it's a weird game. And I think that, like, not only in terms of the aesthetic, but also just the game itself. It's strange. A first person beat em up hybrid shooter? Like, really, really, I can't think of like too many other games that you can call that. And I think, I think that like, you know, this, this game has its charm of just being like the weirdest freaking game in the world. Is it good? I mean, it's interesting. And it purely depends on just, do you, do you enjoy it in the end? And also, these guys just jump in the water in the end. They just give up. Oh, dude, there's a freaking llama man. Dude, you're rowing with a stick, I just noticed. The only effective way you can do that is if you, like, stick the stick in, like, the mud underneath the water, and you kind of tug along that. And also, you're both going way far, and it's turning! How is it turning with the power of his mind? You can't really use it as a rudder. You just have to kind of tug it. Man, this guy's great at rowing. Also, exposition. Oh gosh. But Aha, I'm cruel. Cruel to animals. History. History is the pattern of stories. Every story. All the past. But if they were dead, you didn't need to stay there. I don't obey those people. I obey their ideals. Hmm. Mm. See, I okay. So this is this is what I mean by this game has really great writing, but the voice acting is pretty bad. As in, like, just this stuff about ideals and all this stuff, it's interesting to think about. I think that the context of the game it could be, you know, a little bit thought provoking. Like, really, really, in terms of characters, I don't really know anyone's personality. The address just kind of wants to leave, hosts them, freaking get still needs to get to us on that why did he kill father mother I mean he was an outcast why why did he leave anyway he just kind of these guys and they seem like cool people to hang out with so he was like yeah sure and also it's weird they just got like this turret segment effectively and it just kind of keeps going for a bit actually this guy's kind of weird. He's, he looks like he's wearing like jeans. Where it's like everyone's wearing just like cave, you know? Like, like okay, you know, freaking Super Mario Brothers Super Show. How or Super Mario World more so? That show. It's like you had all these cave people. I'm like, does Super, Super Mario World really take place in the past? I mean, I know Yoshi's like a dinosaur, but uh. Is, is anyone else in the Mario universe a dinosaur? I don't know. And so it's weird when you got like these plumbers and you got cave people. And this is exactly the same thing. It's like you got this weird guy right here. 
you got cave people. Also, why is she flip out? Like, look at that. Okay, go around them rocks. This this level just seems to drag on for a bit as well. Like, again, jump in the water, will you? Is he gonna? Is this guy gonna do it? Is he gonna jump in the water? Oh, look, he just dies. I seem to flip out. <laughs> I don't even know. Are we at the end? Maybe. You think we've gone like a long way from that canyon at the far end? So really, it just depends on how much level is there left. Maybe. Maybe there's more. Who knows? Oh, okay. That was the end. Hooray!